Hi everybody, Shane R. Monroe here, and recently a friend reached out to me and said, Shane, I've been following your videos, I've been following your music journey, and I've started converting my music from MP3, re-ripping my CDs and making them into flax. I'm mixing my music library. Now I need to kind of clean up. I need to find out where are my duplicates? Um, how do I know uh, what songs I already have on what album? How can I clean up the mess of MP3s that I have left? So I started thinking about it, and of course, Directory Opus is the solution for pretty much almost anything that's file management based. So let's take a look at a uh, possibility. So here, I'll zoom this up a little bit. Here is my ridiculously uh, malformed music collection. Uh, I've had different methodologies and different thought processes throughout the years. And let's be honest, it's a complete cluster and I am more than happy to admit it. So what we want to do, of course, is see this holistically as a whole organization of music because we're looking for duplicates across all the folders. So we'll go up here and we'll do um, flat view or, or basically collapsing the entire folder structure so that what we're left with here is literally nothing more than lists of music. Doesn't matter the folder, whether it's G, Gloria, Estefan, Rod Stewart, Aqua, it doesn't matter. They're all here. Now, this, um, <laughs> this process that I'm considering is going to assume that your music is properly tagged with ID3 tags or even ID2 tags will probably do the trick. So it seems really simple when somebody says it. Um, so we're gonna go to the columns up here and we're gonna go to the columns and choose music. And we are going to add the title. So this title isn't the file name. This title is being pulled from the ID3 tags. Now, if an MP3 of Till Tuesday's Voices Carry, if the MP3 has this as the title, the FLAC will have it as the title too. This means, yes, of course, we could just hit title. Of course, obviously a lot of this stuff does not have a title. So we're gonna have to um, move my screen a little bit here. We're gonna have to scroll down until we start, until we start seeing titles, which actually isn't that far, okay. So here we go. Let's take a look and see if I can find any. I'm sure there's at least one. Uh, let's see. I've been trying to delete stuff as I replace them, but I know not everybody does that. Uh, let me open this title up because we don't really care about anything else at this point. Let's see. Um, so far, I'm not like seeing a ton of dupes. <laughs> there's gotta be some in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. So here's two. Unfortunately, they're both MP3s and they're both the same size. So what I have here is a dupe, but it's sort of a kind of a legitimate dupe, but it's not because there's two different versions of the song. All right, well, that's all right. So what else do we got? Let's keep going here. Now, this is interesting that some of these seem to be out of line. If we're sorting by title, um, they were still being parsed, that's why. So now that they're probably all done being parsed, we should go back up to the top here. Uh, so we have an instrumental version as well as the regular one, both MP3s. Now we could do some more advanced filtering, right? We could filter on just MP3s and flax. I don't think we'll see a lot of benefit from that. So let me see, uh, let's keep going here. We gotta, we gotta have something. Lost that love and feeling, two flax. One of them's from Hall & Oates though, right? So maybe, maybe we wanna add a column of artists, music artists. That way we can easily see, okay, so these really aren't, they look like dupes, but they're not dupes, even though, even if one of them had been MP3 and one of them had been flack. Ah, here we go, Yellow Submarine. Note, both MP3s on two different albums, slightly different file size, so these are probably legitimate dupes, just not one flack and one MP3. So one of those would probably have to go and I would decide by listening to them. Wishing Well, Terrence Trent Darby, okay. Uh, Flack and Flack, damn it. Wishing, wishing both Hootie and the Blowfish. Oh, damn it, both are MP3s. This isn't working out quite as I'd hoped. Let's keep going. Who we run to, both heart. Yeah, okay, so I got a dupe there. Well, this is good. I mean, at least we're finding dupes, even if they're not Flack MP3 dupes, they're still dupes. A uh, handful, let's see, here we go. 
Uh, okay, so this song is various artists. I happen to know that this is the same song. It just happens to have another singer other than Olivia Newton-John. So these are probably dupes as well, close to the same file size. I should probably clean that up. Uh, welcome to the jungle. Ah, here we go. We got one. We got one. Yay. <laughs> I wasn't think we we're going to find one. Guns and Roses. Welcome to the jungle. MP3. Uh, definitely a difference in file size. Here we go. We got it. This is the one to keep. This is the one to nuke. Now we could be really, really cool and um, turn on uh, checkbox mode. Don't I have a quickie for that? Yeah. So now while we're doing this, I could say, okay, I want that guy gone. So we're going to check mark that. And at the end of this whole mess, we'll hit delete and it'll only delete the check marked ones. So now I'm all excited. Now we actually got one. Walking on sunshine, flack, flack, damn it. Uh, let's see. Obviously, if your music is not well tagged, yeah, you know, you're kind of screwed. Here's a Smokey Robinson dupe. I could have gotten rid of that. Uh, let's see. Unchained Melody, I got a re-recording and the original. Oh, this is from the Supremes. Hmm. I didn't know they did a cover of that. Turn to Stone, very best of ELO. That looks like an MP3. Yes, sir. And here's our flack. We have a dupe. Exactly my friend's situation. And of course, five versus 24 megabytes. Perfect. So you can see this works until you get to these. <laughs> and you will probably have some of those too. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this process isn't going to be 100%, but it's going to give you a very holistic look at your duplicates, a holistic look of your old versus new and i'm sure with a bit of of uh, future clever scripting we could probably even take this further but for a first pass for just looking at this guy i think this is uh, pretty cool so all right listen if uh, you like what you see here like subscribe hit the bell you guys know i love doing directory opus videos i appreciate you watching them and uh you guys take good care and we'll see you next time